friends, welcome back to our little Oregon homestead. It's farmhouse tour day. Farmhouse tour day! <laughs> actually 1970s split level home tour day but soon to be farmhouse tour yeah yeah it uh much of it is 1970s farmhouse mid-century modern ish at one time i don't know anyway we're it's gonna something. get there we're, we're getting there we're gonna get there let's go All right, so coming in the front door, it is a split level, so you can either go upstairs or downstairs. We are bringing you downstairs first. So this is our downstairs living room, also known as the kid cave right now. Living room one of two as well. One of two. So downstairs living room, and basically what we want to do with this area is walls, Take out the carpet, redo the fireplace, and add all new trim. So ideally, I mean, like I have mentioned before, I loved my old house. I loved the colors and the style of it. So I'm bringing that here. I want to do gray walls and white trim with the, the thicker farmhouse type trim. And that'll be it. I mean, structurally, this house is pretty okay. So... Structurally, we don't have to do a lot. It's really just cosmetics, so super easy. All we need is time. That's harder to come by. That's harder to come by. Yeah. But that's it. This is really just a play area for the kids. They have TV down here. They have their Xbox, foosball table. They have just a general kid living space, and it works out really well because the older boys, their rooms are down here, and they really just hang out here a whole bunch. So not a lot to do. Decorative wise, it's really just gonna be a kid's space. The two older boys, their rooms are down here, but we're not taking you into them because it's their rooms. Eventually, we'll redo them also, just really basic, nothing too Force, fancy. Paint. General stuff, but we also have a bathroom down here that needs some upgrades and still really just along the same lines. Um, just colors, probably an updated vanity, floors. But there's really not a whole lot to do as far as any big renovations. It's really just cosmetic updates. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys around so you can get a whole glimpse of the whole area, and then we'll take you upstairs. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so something I forgot to mention is that the main um, heat source for the house is down here. So it's a wood pellet stove and we actually just got an order in of a bunch of pellets. So we're ready to go for winter and we're hoping that the heat rises enough to heat a majority of the upstairs as well. Um, we do have electric heating also, but we want to rely on this as much as possible. So we'll see how that turns out this winter. And then. There's also this little nook area that's um, right next to one of the kids' rooms. We're not quite sure what we're going to do with it, but probably some more game setup stuff for the kids. Or maybe in the future, a some kind of large pantry storage cool area, hopefully. Haven't really come up with the logistics on that. And I haven't actually told Micah yet, but he'll be pleasantly surprised when I give him this project to do. And then the last thing, bathroom, and the last thing is we have a, the door to the garage down here too. So it's pretty easy access as far as first level living. And from the garage, 
there's a back garage space also right now is housing our baby chicks but eventually I want to um, turn that into a garden area um, until we get more a better garden shed outside but it also has all my gardening supplies and tools and that kind of stuff so that's in there as well it's a giant mess so I'm not going to take you in there but well, let's go and check it out real quick real quick So we still have a lot of moving stuff going on in here, obviously, but it's coming along and um, we're getting things cleaned up as we go and as we need it. And then we have an extra fridge and right over here is the back room that I was talking about. It's gonna be just a bunch of gardening tools, garden supplies and anything we need because this door right here is access to the backyard which is where my cottage garden is so it's pretty convenient that way. Okay so now we are in the upstairs living room. This is really kind of where we spend most of our time. It's the main living space. So the kitchen is up here. Our uh, The younger kids be bedrooms are up here. Our office is up here. Our bedroom is up here. So like this yeah. is... We have laundry, pantry, storage closets. This is the main living level. So we want to mirror the, the t uh, upstairs and downstairs uh, and their uh, decor. So um, we'll probably start off our renovations upstairs because this is where we spend the most time. But eventually what we'd like to have is ha have them both matching and be the same. Um, so as we can, we will paint, and as we can, we will put in flooring um, and those kinds of things. Yeah, so same look up here. We're gonna do gray, light gray walls, white farmhouse trim. We're going to research and figure out how to whitewash the fireplace. And then um, we wanna take out this really amazing brown carpet that we have going on right now. Almost semi-shag. It was awesome. I think <laughs> so I had the shag. same uh, carpet when I was like 11 in my childhood home. It was awesome. While it's super cool, mm -hmm. I think we're going to go with wood flooring instead. Okay, there's that. There's Good. that. All right, so up here we have gorgeous views. We want to keep, obviously, all the windows as open as possible. As you know, I love light and airy. I want to keep it super bright and happy. Um, and then we have the sunroom that I kind of want to turn into a peaceful, I don't know, area. I don't know, something. Something fun and peaceful and happy. Yes. <laughs> So right on the other side of the living room, we have our kitchen and dining room. Again, I really want to bring the look that I had in the other house to this home. So sticking with the gray, light gray walls, white trim, we want to redo all the cabinets so that they are white because I love white. I love happy. Don't hate me. Um, keep all the appliances, keep the countertops, and I'm undecided on the floors at this point. They're not horrible, they're not the best, but I don't know if I want to spend money on redoing them because they're fine. So that's kind of where we're at with the living room. The dining room, same kind of idea. I want to do a shiplap wall on the back. I want to do probably a different chandelier light in this room and then the other rooms just um or the other walls just gray um as well just keep that really basic simple farmhouse vibe going it's really interesting about um one of the things that was really interesting about this house is that um the feedback that the previous owners had gotten while they were selling it from people was that the house was really choppy and broken up and compartmentalized um, and originally when we saw the house, we were thinking we might want to take out the dividing wall between the kitchen and dining room space and the living room. Um, 
but as sort of as we've lived here and we've sort of become just like accustomed to it, I think we both agree that it's actually kind of nice. We like we ha like having some division between the dining room, kitchen area, and the living room. Um, so just those little things that I think we both kind of come to enjoy. Yeah. So I like open spaces but I am definitely not a fan of having the kitchen directly looking into the living room. So this wall that divides the two, it has two pretty big openings like doorways, which I think is perfect enough to bring the spaces together, but not so much where I feel like our kitchen is in our living room. So yes, after staying here for some time now, I am pretty happy with the layout and I don't think Again, we need to make any huge structural changes. It's really just all cosmetic stuff in the different rooms. Now, one thing that is kind of on my wish list is to eventually, eventually down the road, take that window out and turn it into a sliding glass door because what my dream, <laughs> In my heart of hearts. In your heart of hearts. Is to put a wraparound balcony on the outside, extend the balcony um, that is over on this side of the house, and bring it to this side where it is kind of going to be our backyard space, and have it a super big, giant balcony to make it super ideal for entertaining and outside living and dream come true for me. So we'll see if Michael Wall can make that happen. There's lots of things on her wish list. We'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so moving down the hall, we have laundry room. And I want to just add some shelving, a bench, um, some hidden shelves for shoes, dog food, that kind of stuff. Nothing too, too fancy. And then directly across from that is the front door. So stairs leading up to the second level. And moving further down the hallway, we have the first bathroom, which is really just a bathroom for the younger kids. Again, just cosmetic updates. Don't mind the mess. Olivia was playing in here, but really not a whole lot to do other than just your basic cosmetic bathroom stuff. Again, okay. one of the list. On the list. On the list. On the list. All right, moving down the hall, we have our bedroom on the left and just purely decorative stuff here. I'm gonna redo the color of that wall. I'm not quite sure how, but it'll be a different color. We'll redo the general color of the other walls and we will redo our bathroom. Not quite sure how yet, but definitely vanity upgrade and flooring upgrade. And we'll just go from there. Favorite part? My favorite part? <laughs> the lighting was off. My favorite part about our room is that we have a direct view my cottage garden outside. You can see my beds right there, and it's amazing. Probably not Micah's favorite part, but it will be amazing. It will be amazing. It's going to be even more amazing this spring. We just gotta, we just gotta get there. All right. So moving down across from our bedroom, it's the younger kids' bedroom on that side, and we will redo it for them. But again, there's space, so I'm not taking you guys in there. And then right next to them is our office. This is where Olivia spends her time during the workday because she loves being around us. <laughs> All right, so this is our setup right now. Obviously, we need to get new work desks, spaces, spaces that will fit this space and make it a, not a giant mess. Notice my super awesome cardboard box. That one I, of a kind. It's one of a kind. Well, there's probably lots of them. It's, it's an Amazon box, but it is very um, useful. 
it gets the job done. All right, so here, same idea. We want to keep it light and airy, gray walls, white farmhouse trim. I love our white shelving, so that's staying. We're just going to get um, or make DIY. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to do new workspaces for both of us on each side. So we'll each kind of have our own space, probably L-shaped for both, just to give us more desk um, space. All right, so that pretty much concludes our soon to be, eventually to be our farmhouse home tour. Right now, there's still a lot of work to do, but nothing that's on a deadline, nothing that needs to get done right now because this house is pretty awesome the way it stands. We just wanna do some cosmetic updates. So we will work on that and bring you along with us as we do each room, as we make some improvements here and there, and it's gonna be pretty amazing. One of the things that our older boys suggested was uh, that, that we should do uh, tips or like how-to videos. So, All right, stay so tuned for that. Stay tuned for that, but we're learning as we do this whole process, so our tips are going to be more like... Like an adventure time. Adventure, don't make the same mistakes we end up making. So it's we'll fine. see how things go. But thank you for joining us. This has been um, a super fun video because I love our home and I love sharing it with you. And I can't wait to share more. We will catch you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.